All right, recruiters and people who want to start a recruiting company from the comfort of your home and make six figures, here it is. This is the system that I use really every Monday and Tuesday to prospect and find new jobs. This is what I do for sales. Uh, for those of you that are new to sales or maybe intimidated by the idea of cold calling, uh, fear no more. You don't have to do that with your staffing company. So whatever industry you're going to go after, whether it's hospitality, medical, general staffing, um, this system that I'm going to show you that I still use, you know, 20 years later to get new jobs and new companies, which is what I love to do. Pay attention. There's three tools that I use and three tools that I'm going to highly recommend that you invest in. All right. So here is the first one. Let me go ahead and minimize my face. Hopefully this works. I'm just using this new program. All right. Awesome. Hopefully you can see me down here in the corner. Um, okay. So sales navigator is the first tool that you're going to have to purchase. This is a premium service within your LinkedIn account. If you log into your LinkedIn account, you should see um, Sales Navigator. You can purchase that for, I believe, $79 a month. Okay, it's a must-have. Uh, you got to get it, right? So this is great for prospecting and finding leads for your business. The second tool is called Zoom Info. What this tool is, it gives you the ability to search anybody's contact information, their email address, their business email address, which is critical, especially in this exercise, their phone number, their mailing address, their title, and the history of who they are, you know, where they went to school. Uh, sometimes it shows their birthday. So you can, you know, throw out some uh, or create some synergies with these hiring managers by having that intel and data ahead of time. You can kind of craft emails that are pretty shifty and strategic. And then the last tool that you'll need is an applicant tracking system. I currently use Loxo, L-O-X-O. I just transferred over from Bullhorn, which I had for many years, and I'm loving Loxo. I'm gonna show you why. It's got a great feature called Outreach, which allows you to um, automate your marketing efforts. So it's phenomenal. And it you know, allows you to cast a wide net. All right, so let's dive into it. Sales Nav. You go into Sales Navigator, uh, go into Account Results right here, and you start filtering the, um, the companies that you want to target, right? So you know your business better than me. You know your keywords, but I'm going to show you how I do it for my staffing company, ConnectGen. All right, so um, I'm in the wireless staffing business, so I simply go to industry. I type in wireless, and then I like to target companies that are smaller or midsize. These are companies that I can cultivate relationships with. I can meet the hiring managers. There's no red tape. Uh, there's no vendor list, all that kind of stuff. I just don't want to deal with that. So uh, companies that range from 11 to 50, 201 to 500, or 51 to 200 are sweet spots for what I do. And that's all you got to do. I put a, a keyword in here called DAS, uh, short for Distributed Antenna Systems. It's a word track for what I do in my staffing company. But go ahead and put your keyword in to narrow your search even further. Um, I love this result. 109 results is enough for me to chew on all week or for two weeks to prospect my tail off right now. So let's just go into like one of the companies here. Uh, for example, uh, let's go down here, uh, Zinwave, okay? So I'll read about them real quick. You know, Fiber, I do that. They look great. I can even go to their website. But what's really cool about this is it provides the decision makers right there. So there's the answers to the test, right? It's almost like you're cheating. Um, and here's a guy, VP of Operations at Zinwave, James Martin, we're already a first degree. Um, let's go into like a second degree here. Let's see what I have. So this gentleman right here, uh, Fred, Director of Technical Services at Zinwave. You know what? He's international. I probably don't want to go there yet. Uh, okay, let's see Hollister, Director of the West Region of Sales. So I place sales executives within my niche. This could be a really good contact for me uh, with Hollister. So all I do is click on Hollister's name. Um, you know, I can I sometimes peruse what he did in the past, what he's doing now, where he went to school. But here is the magic, guys. This is what I love about Loxo, the, the applicant tracking system that I just showed you. Um, all you have to do when you get Loxo, which costs about $190 a month for one user, again, it's worth every penny. Um, they have a Chrome extension right here on your uh, computer, and you just click this, and it automatically imports this hiring manager into the Loxo database for you. It populates the company's name, his information, etc. Um, now, in most cases, people will include their email address in their LinkedIn profile, which makes your life easier, but sometimes they don't. So in this instance, Hollister did not do that, but that's okay. We can still find it. 
Um, so I'm going to go down here and click him as a hiring manager. He's not a candidate. He's a hiring manager, which I love. Great way to keep organized and to market even further within your database when you have these designations right here. Um, and here he is. So now if I go into Loxo, if everything's working properly, he should have been automatically brought in um, to my database. Let me go ahead and click the refresh button. Thinking, thinking, Monday morning, take a sip of water. Okay, there he is. Just like that, how cool is that? So here's Hollister, he came into my database, got a picture there. Um, and like I said, it's not, it did not populate his contact information, which is what we need. So Loxo has a feature where you can click this, find more contact information, and it tries its best to spider the World Wide Web to find his email address or phone numbers. Let's see what happens here if it's working. Sometimes um, it's not going to work. And it looks That's fine. So what we'll do is, oh wait, no, it did. I'm sorry. Okay. It did work. So it brought in his personal email address, the Hotmail, and a few phone numbers here. Now I will tell you, Loxos um, working on this feature, this is not a perfect sign. So I don't know if these numbers are accurate, but I'm going to try them. You know, and I can also do an SMS text campaign to any of these numbers to see if they work to market to Hollister. But I really don't want Hollister's personal email address. Um, I just think it's kind of a tacky move to email somebody's personal email address in business. So I want to find his business email address. So how do I do that? All right, well, Zoom Info, awesome tool here. So all we do is type in Hollister's name. I'm just going to go with Hollister and Zinwave, and it should find it because Hollister is a pretty unique name. Pretty awesome name. Um, yeah, there he is. So Hollister Cavell, I'm gonna go with that. And if this is working properly, it should bring in his phone number, the headquarters. Now, a lot of times it will give their direct dial, which I love, their cell phone. In this instance, it did not do that, but that's okay. I have his email address. So here is his business email address. I just hit copy. I go over to my Loxo system. Let me go ahead and, well, you know what? I'm gonna just add another. And I'm going to paste his uh, business email and designate it as work and hit save. So there we go. And um, if I go back into Zoom Info, which I absolutely love, you can see more information about Hollister here. You know, when he joined the company, um, this is really, really critical stuff that you can read up on to understand his role in the company. What I love about this too is it shows who Zenwave's competitors are. So. Here's a whole nother list for me to prospect to. These are companies that could use my services and I can just like spend hours and hours and days um, just introducing myself and, and doing the same system to these companies. And guys, you can do this. This is the system that you can use for your industry within staffing. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, so that's how you find your leads. You bring them in from, you know, Sales Navigator right here, that list of 109 companies and you just go you know, through company and company, find the decision makers like I showed you, cross-reference them in Zoom, get the information, get them into your applicant tracking system, all right? And in the next video, I'm going to show you one of the coolest features in Loxo that I love. And uh, guys, I make no money talking about Loxo. I just love using the tool and I want to help you. This outreach campaign, I'll give you a teaser. I've run a bunch of them. You can basically start a campaign, bring in, you know, a thousand prospects like Hollister, and set up a sequence where the first day an email goes out to all 1,000 prospects like that. Two days later, a text message goes out. Three days later, a LinkedIn message goes to them. You get the idea. It's a sequence of a marketing automated campaign. I get tons of jobs from this um, strategy, and you can as well. And guys, uh, let me go ahead and pull my face back up here. I hope that helps you. Um, and if you are really serious about scaling your staffing company, or even if you want to work, you know, at home right now and make a few placements and make six figures a year, um, I love teaching people how to do marketing tactics and recruiting tactics tactics as well. Uh, so I'm here to help you. And, uh, I hope this was um, useful for you. Thank you.